Hey guys, so if we kind of look through the window sticker for um, for the truck, um, this is a 2021 F-150. It's four-wheel drive. It's the Super Crew. This is the 157-inch wheelbase, so I've got the it's the Super Crew plus the six and a half foot bed. Uh, so it's a longer wheelbase so that that comes into play you know as far as uh you know weights and you know max payload and things like that uh it does have the power boost you know full hybrid so you've got the additional weight from the batteries so you lose a little bit of um you know uh payload capacity there because that adds to the weight under the truck um and then if we kind of look at some of the other features here that may um you know that jump out at me that may affect the uh the, uh, the payload capacity and, and towing capacity. Um, I do not have the, the moonroof. Um, I did a little research on that, and um, honestly, the, it surprised me that uh, I was afraid that the moonroof would add, you know, a little too much weight, and then that would, that would subtract, you know, from my max payload. Um, but, you know, after a little research, I think it only adds like 60 pounds or something like that. So it's, it's really not that bad. You know, if, if you're looking to get the, the moonroof and then you don't... Um, you know, uh, you're afraid that, that you're going to lose payload capacity. It's, it's not as severe as I thought it would be. Um, let's see. So a lot of these are more electronic features. So let's go down to, so this is the XLT. Um, it is the 302A high package. Um, so I did, um, you know, that comes with, um, you know, the sync four, the bigger screen, you know, things like that. So those potentially would add up, you know, add, add weight into, into the truck. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? So we've got the, the 373, um, you know, axle ratio that, that, um, that comes with the, the full hybrid with the max towing package anyways. Um, let's see, none of that. So it does come with the 360 camera with, you know, the assist, you know, 2.0, they call it. So it's got like the lane centering and things like that. Um, let's see the pro power on board. So the 7.2 kilowatt, you know, um, generator basically, or inverter, if, you know, depending on how you look at it, um, you know, that adds weight, you know, so that's under the seat, uh, in the back there. Um, so that's, that reduces your, your payload a little bit. Um, little things, interior work surface. Um, so the max trailer tow package, uh, that, that definitely would affect things. Um, let's see what else. So I did get the telescoping, uh, you know, towing mirrors. So that adds a little tiny bit of weight. Uh, it does have the 360 degree, um, you know, camera package. Um, it is the sport appearance package. I'm not sure if that would really affect the weight too much other than it does come with different wheels. Um, you know, the rest of it's kind of more coloring. Um, let's see the all-terrain tires. Uh, I did get the, the wheel wells lined. So it's a little, you know, tiny bit additional weight. And I did get the bed liner, uh, sprayed from the factory. So, so all these kind of, you know, little things add up, uh, you know, to the, uh, the overall, you know, towing capacity and payload capacity of the vehicle. Um, so now let's switch over to the Ford towing guide and uh, we'll kind of, you know, find this truck in that, <laughs> that massive spreadsheet. All right, so right now, uh, this is an easily, you know, searchable document, but I'll put a link in the description of this video below. This is the 2021 Ford F-150, uh, you know, towing features, towing guide, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, it goes through a lot of things, you know, kind of high level, you know, what your max available towing is, max payload. Obviously, these are kind of, I hate looking at these numbers here because, you know, it's, it's you know, they always say as, a, you know, properly equipped, things like that. So once you start adding features to the vehicle, obviously those numbers go down so you can kind of skip by some of that uh, what I like to do is get down to this table here um, so so the the towing capacities you know this is for conventional towing so you're you're, you're you know ball hitch this isn't for fifth wheels this isn't for uh gooseneck trailers you know things like that honestly there's not too many fifth wheels that i would ever put on a half ton pickup um so i'm not really going to talk about that too much there are some some really lightweight you know short nose types of fifth wheels that that i think are definitely half ton towable but they're fairly rare and i think a lot of people push the the truck a little too hard um you know and, and it just it, it just makes it kind of you know unsafe conditions it's, you know not only for you but but others on the road so so i'm not really even going to discuss uh, the fifth wheels here 
So if you look at this uh, this list here, it goes by engine. So let's kind of scroll through the list. Um, you know, there's the 3.3 liter, 5.0 liter, you know, the V8, uh, the turbo diesel, which I believe they may have canceled that project altogether just because of the hybrid. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong in the description below, uh, or in sorry, in the, in the uh, you know in the comments below. Uh, the 2.7 liter V6, the 3.5 liter uh, V6, and then here at the very bottom is the uh, the 3.5 liter hybrid V6. So this is what we really care about for this vehicle. Um, the the left part here is you've got your your axle ratio. So that's uh, 3.55 and 3.73. So ours um, is the 3.73. Uh, for for the you know the options I chose and that was right on the uh, the spec sheet there uh, for the window sticker and then now you're you're left two more choices so and if I go back to the top here so this is the gross combined weight rating so that is the max weight you know if, if you kind of think about that that's two numbers added together that GCWR that that's the weight of the vehicle so your gross vehicle weight plus whatever trailer you have. So another way to think about that is if you had this number, you could subtract the gross vehicle weight rating so that your actual curb weight, I guess I could, could call it, um, from this number, and that would give you what you have left over for towing, for max towing capacity. So in our case, let's see, uh, it's got a little kind of a um, subscript there. Uh, so it says two, so that requires, oops, sorry, this just jumped way up, sorry. Um, so that um, requires the max uh, trailer tow package, which we do have. So that means that our gross combined weight rating is 18,400 pounds. Um, so to get our max towing, we would subtract the, the curb weight of, of the vehicle. Um, wow, this thing's really jumping all over the place. Um, so let me scroll over to the right here. So they do give some example numbers. Um, so the uh, this is a super cruise so would be the rightmost you know section and it's four wheel drive so it'd be um, you know the rightmost subsection and then even within that sub subsection is uh, the 157 uh, wheelbase so really oh, man this thing is jumping all over so if we go down to that uh, go to the right page here so that 18,400 so that is right here that 12,400 number. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, you know, figure out what my, uh, my curb weight is and see if that, that number matches up because I bet that that number is, is more approximate that 12,400. I bet what you're actually going to have is a number slightly less than that, depending on the options you chose, you know, those, all those little things that we just went over that, uh, that'll decrease from that number. But, uh, but we'll see if I'm right. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go do a little more research to see what, uh, what other numbers we can get. So let's take a look at the door sticker here. So this is a uh, driver's side um, front door. Uh, so if we look at, let's see if I can turn this at an angle at all. Um, so the combined weight of occupants and cargo should never exceed 1,613 pounds. So that is what you would call your payload capacity. So that's your, um, you know, people in the truck plus any cargo in the back or even inside the truck. Now if we look up at this other sticker, the top right corner there you see GVWR so that's your gross vehicle weight rating so that would be your curb weight plus this uh, payload weight because that the gross vehicle weight rating is, is how much the truck weighs plus what the max amount of you know people and equipment in the truck is so we could really take that 18,400 pounds uh, gross combined vehicle weight rating that we looked at before and subtract the 7,350 pounds of you know the gross vehicle weight rating, and that will give you your um, uh, your your max towing capacity. So I believe in our case that is uh, let's see 11,050 pounds. I'll double check that. I'll put it on the screen if my math is wrong. Um, so yeah, that's that's for this truck. 11,050 pounds is the max towing capacity, and then your max payload is 1,613 pounds. Um, so another way to look at that, like you know, one thing that helps me is if I go get a load of stone because I've got the you know spray on bed liner. So you know, I'll go to the gravel pit and just have them dump it right in. Um, the if you weigh, you know, 150, you know, subtract that from this number, and that's the max amount of stone or mulch or 
soil or whatever you're putting into the back of the truck, um, you know, that, that that's the number you should use. Um, honestly, most of these trucks can go way beyond that, but um, don't, don't do it. It's not safe. And then if you exceed that number and you get pulled over, um, you know, you could be seeing some fines for that. So, uh, so try to stick to those numbers as close as possible. So another way to look at these weights is, uh, you know, kind of graphically, I found this image on, you know, one of the F-150 forums and I think it's really, really helpful. So like I said, GVWR is your curb weight, which is the truck plus uh, any people inside with, you know, any luggage or, you know, things in the back of the truck. Gross combined weight rating, which is right there, is the truck plus the, you know, trailer plus any things in the trailer, plus, you know, people. So it's basically your, your entire total weight. If you were towing your, your trailer, it was all fully loaded, people are inside, and you took it to one of the cat scales or, you know, way stations, that's your gross combined weight rating. You don't, you definitely don't ever want to go over that number because um, that's, you're driving illegally at that point. Um, so those are kind of your important ones. And then, you know, kind of on here on the right side is your um, your curb weight, which is just just the truck, no people. Um, and then dry weight is the truck without any fuel in it, you know, um, that kind of thing. And then um, another, another topic that's really important, uh, which I didn't mention earlier, is tongue weight. So that's in the top right corner here. So that is the force that the is being pushed down on the ball of your truck or, you know, your, your, your hitch from the trailer. So that tongue weight has to go into your payload that you're using. So if you, let's make the math easy. So if you had a, a thousand pound payload, you know, real low, uh, if you had an 800 pound tongue weight, you know, that usually, you know, equates to, uh, you know, a, about an 8,000 pound trailer, then you've only got 200 pounds left for people and things in, in the truck. So that's really like a thousand pound tongue or uh, payload is is really not even feasible for, for that type of trailer because you, you literally have to have, you know, you'd get one person in there a couple items and then your trailer and and that's it you're, you're done you, you're you're you've reached your max so you know tongue weight's very important um your gross combined weight rating is very important you know those all add up so if you guys have any questions on that please leave it you know in the comments below